back to my channel. I hope that you are having a wonderful day today. This is another one of my frugal Fridays. So today we're going to talk about cleaning supplies. It seems like just the right time in life to be talking about how we clean and how you can do so frugally and how you can do so naturally. I like to use natural cleaning supplies. I do not use a lot of bleach. I do not use a lot of ammonia, um, things like that to clean with. So I like all natural things and of course I like to be as frugal as I possibly can be. And as you can see, I've got a little helper today. Say hi, Teddy. Hi. You just will not smile, will ya? Now you'll smile and you'll get mama, huh? Yeah. Okay. So Teddy is here helping me with this video today because, you know, he doesn't feel like napping. It's nap time, but Teddy doesn't feel like it. That's life of being four months old. Didn't feel like it, didn't have to. So anyways, let's talk about our cleaning supplies. I'm going to show you my favorites, the ones that I use all the time, and talk about how I do that frugally, and then I will show you how I like to clean certain areas of my home. So, let's get started. You're going to find that a lot of what I recommend is either the doTERRA brand, the Eden's Garden brand of essential oils, or I will recommend Norwex. Now, I am not a consultant, that sword, I am not a consultant for any of those. This video is not sponsored. This is just my personal opinion, things that I have found to work, and how I'm doing it cheap. One of the ways that I like to clean my house, and this is just spot cleaning, this is how I clean down my bathroom counters, the outside of my toilet, Norwex. Norwex EnviroCloth. Now, mine has a couple of little stains on it now, things that didn't quite get washed off, but that's okay because it still works really well. I know you might be like me, and I was a complete skeptic about Norwex. I think that I have a friend who told me about Norwex for probably three years before I actually gave it a try, and even then, I was kind of skeptical about it. I just kept thinking, there is no way. I mean, it just sounds a little too far out. <laughs> like, there's no way that that this is really going to work and actually disinfect anything. And so if you're like me, or like I was, and super skeptical, let me tell you, I actually bought some of those bacteria test kits where you have the little swab and you wipe it on the surface, and then you break the top and shake it up. So when I did that, I had the control, of course, and then I used the homemade cleanser, I used a Norwex cloth, and I used some Mrs. Meyers spray. And they all cleaned to varying degrees. Um, if I can find the picture, I'll insert it up here for you, just so you can kind of see how the tests turned out. But Norwex actually was clean. And yes, I did the test strip too to make sure that it, on a surface that had not been cleaned with anything, that it was actually dirty. And what, we weren't starting with like a clean surface. So I did do that test and it of course was a dirty surface. And Norwex was completely clean, the surface that I used this on. So I was actually really surprised and very impressed. And so that has led me to believe in my Norwex. So now I do use my Norwex EnviroCloths to clean everything. I use these for walls, tables, <laughs> windows, um, oh goodness, the toilet, the counters, the bathtub and shower, like everything, everything with this little thing. Now, if I think that I might need a little bit of extra cleaning power, this is what I use. I have a spray bottle. Mine just happens to be from Grove Collaborative, but that is just because um, I put in an order with them and they sent it to me for free with my order. So that's why I use this one. It is a glass bottle and I do like glass better. This is plain white vinegar, plain distilled white vinegar. Fill it up, put some drops of essential oils in and put anything that you want in there. I would suggest an oil that has been shown to disinfect. So something like lemon or tea tree oil would work better than just something that smells good. But honestly, the vinegar is going to do enough disinfecting all on its own. So you could just put in anything that you think smells good. I have 
some Melaleuca from Deuterra, and that is actually a tea tree oil. And so that's what I have added into mine. It will separate when it's left for a while. Can you see that? You can see the oils will kind of float to the top. So I give mine a good little um, twist and shake there. Just a little twist and shake. I spray this on everything. You can use this on your counters. You can use this on your floors. I have, I do scrub my floors by on hand and knee. Um, not all the time, but about once a month I'll get down and really scrub my floor as well. And so I just spray this on the floor, wipe with my Norwex cloth, that Enviro cloth right there, everything gets wiped with that. I will use that, um, that spray bottle in the bathroom if I need a little extra cleaning power. Um, pretty much just anywhere. The toilet especially, I like to spray the toilet down a little bit and wipe with the Norwex cloth to make sure it really gets cleaned up. So that's what I use for my everywhere clean. Now when I want to disinfect things like door handles and light switches, um, the little pull handles on the cabinet drawers and on their dressers, things like that. The smaller surfaces that are actually probably the dirtiest in our homes because everyone is constantly touching them. Um, what about the little twisty parts of your lamps when you turn them on and off? You definitely want to clean those to get the germs off. So in order to do that, I prefer this On Guard Spritzing Mist. Now, On Guard is not the cheapest thing. I will tell you that right up front. This is probably the most that I spend on any of my cleaning supplies. And I'll go over the, the financial side of this in just a minute, but this is, I'll be honest, it's the most that I spend, but it's also the least that I use. So it still lasts me a very long time. And you could buy the oil and make your own spritzer. I have made many of my own spritzers and sprays from essential oils, but I just really liked that it's done for me. Honestly, it's easy for me to order it, grab it, and go. Finally, let's talk about the toilet. Let's be honest, your toilet always needs clean. So I use, first of all, again, Norwex. Can you see this? Can you see this? Right here. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. There we go. Norwex. This toilet brush is Norwex. What I do is on a daily basis, I use that and just swish around to get the toilet cleaned off. At least once a week, what I will do is pop a little bit of baking soda into the toilet. Little bit. Just a little bit in this case. You just want a little and then take some vinegar, about three quarters of a cup full, I don't do quite a whole cup, pour some vinegar into the toilet bowl and it will fizz and react and that vinegar will get all over your toilet bowl on the inside and it will disinfect in there. And then I take that brush and I scrub, 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 scrub. Now, if you do feel that your brush needs disinfected from time to time, which I absolutely do sometimes, then you can take a little bucket pour some vinegar in and just set that brush top in there to soak. And that's what I have done from time to time to get that clean. So now I know you're, you're thinking, okay, she has said Norwex. She said, has said Deuterra. These are not cheap things. How is this frugal? I know I hear you. So here's what I'll tell you. My Norwex Enviro cloths have lasted me three years. When I tried these, three years ago, I bought several Enviro cloths. I think that I have one, two, three, four, five. I think that I have five Enviro cloths now. I think maybe six. Um, and I have just so many of them. And at the time it was an investment and I had to save up for it. But once I invested in them and bought them, I haven't had to buy anything else for three years. Yes, I buy the vinegar and the essential oils that I use for my spray, but for that, that regular cleaning where a lot of people are using washcloths that will wear out quickly and they throw them away, or they're using paper towels, you use those once and toss them. My Enviro cloths have lasted me three years, so far, and still going strong. I have not had to throw any out and none of them are getting to a point where I even think that that's coming. So. It lasts a long time, so sometimes it's a bit of an investment up front, but if you can manage that bit of an investment of investment up front, 
then it will really, really last you quite a long time because all you have to do is wash them and take care of them and they just keep going. And I am telling you when you, when you say, well, what can you use that for? How is it really a good investment? Now, I don't just use these in my house. I scrub my oven out with these. I have scrubbed my grill with these. I scrub out my car with these. The kids toys get washed with these. Everything. We use these for everything. Kid you not, you name it, I've probably used a Norwex cloth on it. So that's to me, that's worth the investment. In terms of oils, you can buy doTERRA. And I am using up some tea tree oil that is doTERRA. I know I showed you that. And so I do have that. I did buy that once, but I don't actually use doTERRA or Young Living on a regular basis. I use a company called Eden's Garden, and I will put a link down below for them. I don't know if they have an affiliate link or not, so that link probably is not affiliate. It's just to let you know, but um, I use them because they are as pure and as high of a quality. Oh. They're as pure and as high quality as Young Living or doTERRA, but it's direct from the manufacturer. You don't have to go through someone the way that you do for Young Living or doTERRA. Oh, did you want to talk too? Oh, okay. Yeah, Teddy wanted a turn. So I actually order from Eden's Garden and it is much, much cheaper. Um, I usually spend about, oh, I want to say five to eight dollars on a medium sized bottle of whatever oil I'm ordering. So not too expensive at all. Much, much more cost effective. And like I said, they are still as... <laughs> are you talking? It's Teddy's turn. <laughs> so they are still as as pure and as high grade as the Young Living and doTERRA oils are. So that is why I use those. So I hope that this has given you some ideas for ways that you can clean that are a bit more natural and a bit more frugal and will save you money. Even if it's not up front, it'll save you money in the long run. So thanks for watching today. If you liked this video, if you enjoyed seeing this Frugal Friday video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up so I know and I can make you some more Frugal Friday videos about ways that we save around our home and in our lives. Remember to hit subscribe so that you can see all of my videos. I'm very excited to have begun this journey and to see where it takes me and to find a community on here and help to inspire other mamas. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye. I'll say bye-bye. <laughs> okay, Teddy says bye. I say bye. Remember, hit subscribe, and I'll see you again next Friday for another Frugal Friday. Bye.